Yes, indeed, and a very, very welcome to another session. It is, of course, the interview session on the Touchline. Welcome back. Of course, great things happening here, and as we had mentioned earlier, our second uh, first session of the interviews here, and we have the Silver Clarets Football Academy. It's a football club that was formed, football academy formed in 2023, and has its base in Feather, that's in Embakasi. Karibuni sana, our guests from uh, Silver Clarets Football Academy. Academy. So, and of course, I'll begin the introduction here and probably the man that I'm sitting with on this particular side and on my immediate left is um, Tony Cotieno, who is the coach for this at this particular academy. And of course, on my right is Peter Mudoka, director of the club and of course, the players who all here. Karibuni sana, right? Silver Claritz Academy. So, what uh, maybe Peter, uh, what informed Kwanzi Shahi Football Academy? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. The reason as to why we started the Silver Clarets, we are in an environment where children have the passion for the ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, being in the profession, the mm -hmm. teaching profession, where we mentor children, we direct with children on a daily basis, we found it wise. We could engage these learners, mostly during their free time, that's the over the weekends, over the holidays, and at least nurture their talents. Mm -hmm. That is one of the things that informed us uh, to form these uh, Silver Clarets Football Academy. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, and uh, Tony, for you, uh, having like trained, uh, being the coach for, for the young, what kind of joy does it give you to work with the, with the youngsters? No, thank you very much. One thing about the children, dealing with them is very nice because they do things out of their heart. Mm -hmm. They do it with passion. Mm -hmm. Has it been, what would you say that has been your maybe a milestone in having coached them so far? What would you want to see? What have you seen? Okay, most of them we started when they were very green mm -hmm. in football. Mm -hmm. So as we keep on training, maybe one day we learn a skill, they practice the next day, mm -hmm. they try out that skill, whatever they have learned, mm -hmm. and you see that they are really improving. Mm -hmm. So that is what one thing that normally gives me a drive, that mm -hmm. each and every day when you go for training, you have to learn a new thing. Mm -hmm. The next day we put it into practice, mm -hmm and life goes on. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what, does success and failure matter when you're dealing with the kids? No, for the children, I don't think there's nothing like uh, failure because you normally say, even if you don't do it for the first time, mm -hmm. you keep on trying mm -hmm. so that at the end of the day, mm -hmm. there's one day that you'll do whatever you are, to, you are not able to do on the first mm -hmm. trial. Mm -hmm. uh, failing once mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you're going to fail always. Mm -hmm. But now, if you fail to keep on trying, mm -hmm. that is when you have failed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, and um, uh, Peter, maybe has the club realized it is uh, intention so far? So far, we can say that the club has realized its intentions. Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. we, have, uh, we started mostly with boys. Mm -hmm. And due to that impact, we also end, uh, ended up recruiting, uh, recruiting some girls. Mm -hmm. And out of the, uh, that and the feedback from the community mm -hmm. and the growth of the club, we can say, as much as we are not where we intended to be, mm -hmm. at least we have achieved something. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and do, would you say that there's abundance of talent and describe maybe the environment that, uh, you know, the, the reasons why you came up with this particular <coughs> academy and the environment that the, the youngsters come from? Is that part of the inspiration maybe? I can say uh, that is part of the inspiration. The setup or the environment where we come from mm -hmm. is a setup that is, um, I can say, um, mm -hmm. a, uh, not that balanced. We have the suburbs nearby, and also we have the established uh, mm -hmm. estates mm -hmm. where we tap the talents from both ends. Mm -hmm. in, the, in this case, how do we do that? Mm -hmm. We are, have our parents who are supportive, mm -hmm. and we also identify our talents from the community mm -hmm. where we are able to support and sponsor boys and girls who have the talent in soccer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And uh, maybe Acha Tuonge and I'm a player's peer. So Elvis, Elvis Maina is the captain under 13. So yes. Na Bridget uh, Kinya peer ni ka girls captain. So Acha Tuonge na Elvis. Elvis, uh, labdo ulianza kucheza ball. Kwa nulu ulichagua kucheza ball? Football. Mm -hmm. It's like more of a passion mm -hmm. than doing other things. Uh -huh. It keeps me fit and active all the time. Uh -huh. yeah. Na so far, uneza sema umekua mchizaji muhimu sana kwa team, na yes. especially kwa silver clarets. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mbona unasema, mbona, mbona ni umefanya hivyo? Nini ambacho umefanya kufikia sasa? I know still coming up, still young, but so far uneza semaji. 
kusiana na na, na play yako uh, i help giving others moral mm -hmm. yeah i mm -hmm. I, when someone goes down, you help them get back up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bridget, uh, for your side, how has it been turning out for, for Silver Clarets and how did you join them? Uh, they were introducing the club to mm -hmm. the school mm -hmm. and I had a passion mm -hmm. for football. Mm -hmm. So I joined them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, was there anybody who told you to play football? Uh, what motivated you to join football? But, but can you remember your First time you watched football? Yes. Uh -huh. what, what, where was it? On TV? Yes, at home. Yeah. Now, it, kafana, like it made you want to play? Yes. So that you do what? For the country? Yes, it inspired me. Uh -huh. Now, I started setting goals. Uh -huh. Yes. And so far, where, where do you want? In your, in your, in your, in your, in your targets, where, 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 where do you want to take uh, silver clarets? Um... I want to take it to the highest level possible mm -hmm. to make them be the best mm -hmm. of all. Mm -hmm. yes. And for you as a player? Uh, my, ta my goals uh -huh. to play for an international team. Uh -huh. yes. yes, in this case, have you decided yet? Yes. Uh -huh. like Which is? Man City. Huh? I would like to play for Man City. Uh, play for Man City. Yes. Elvis, for you? I would like to play for Manchester United. Why not local? Uh, because uh -huh. you have to set a goal uh -huh. to aim higher uh -huh. than the smaller ones. Uh -huh. yeah. How do you, uh, coach, how do you help them, you know, realize their ambitions, their targets as they are young? Okay, what we normally do, mm -hmm. uh, we normally, we've put them in different categories. When they join, mm -hmm. we test them. Mm -hmm. So you put them according to their levels. Mm -hmm. There are those who are uh, very good with the ball. Mm -hmm. There are those who are starters, they are starting. Mm -hmm. So you have to coach them depending on their standards. Mm -hmm. Those who are already good with the ball, mm -hmm. you push them mm -hmm. so hard. Mm -hmm. They have to train hard, they have, they have to give you what you want. Mm -hmm. And those who are starting, mm -hmm. you have to motivate them. At least they can be somewhere. Mm -hmm. So with that, they always realize that eh, if I am able to do this, mm -hmm. then I can even do better than this next time. Mm -hmm. So the, with that, mm -hmm. and when they know, uh, coach Amesema, coach is saying that I'm at this level, mm -hmm. then it means that I can even be mm -hmm. better than this mm -hmm. person who is mm -hmm. a bit higher than me. Mm -hmm. So they normally work hard mm -hmm. into achieving different levels mm -hmm. as we train. Yes, indeed. Uh, Peter, maybe for the academies, we know that the academies right now, they're like um, all over, right? Yes. But what makes <coughs> Silver Clare stand out? Now, uh, what makes a Silver Claret a unique club? One, we focus on other children. Mm -hmm. May it be boys, may it be girls. We don't uh, check on where they come from, mm -hmm. but we focus on the talent. Having uh, an experience in the handling children mm -hmm. for uh, many years, mm -hmm. we find it well when the parents entrust us with the children. We ensure that they have a safe environment where we nurture and we prioritize mm -hmm. each, each player's potential. Mm -hmm. So what makes us unique is we focus on each player. Mm -hmm. We give attention to each player. And above all, we not only mentor them in soccer, we also mentor them all around. We mm -hmm. do what we call the holistic formation, where we uh, focus on the character and also the academics, uh, the academics part uh, mm -hmm. being in that field. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, Elvis, oh, how do you balance Masomo na, na Kucheza? Uh, in football, mm -hmm. you also learn things like discipline, so it helps you even in school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bridget? Uh, the virtues that you learn in football, you oh. can also use them in academics. Like there is this quote that we are told that success is not what you have done compared to another person, but success is what you have done compared to what you are expecting to do. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And and this has gone well with your your parents support you? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. You're always topping in class. Who tops in class here? Me. Uh -huh. Nice one. Uh -huh. And now uh, you don't relax, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So what keeps you going? You're the captain, you're also topping in class. Everything is set. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, how do you handle them, uh, coach? Okay, what do you want to do? <coughs> Basically, I'm a teacher by profession. Uh -huh. So one thing that we, uh, we sell out to the parents, mm -hmm. we tell them that when you bring these children, mm -hmm. 
you are going to help them balance. Mm -hmm. So one of the disciplines that you have to teach them mm -hmm. is that you have to balance yourself. Mm -hmm. Book, as when it's time for book, mm -hmm. you have to put all your effort there. Mm -hmm. When it's time for training, you put your effort in training. Mm -hmm. So all these things have to be balanced. And at some point, mm -hmm. we even ask them and motivate those who are doing well in, mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. So not just ball alone. Mm -hmm. Apart from doing well in football, mm -hmm. we also have to motivate those who are doing well in mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and which means that, that you do follow up to their, how they are doing in school as well? Yes, with the parents, they are very open to us. Mm -hmm. So when we ask about our child performance in school, mm -hmm. they are normally ready to give out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, the challenges that, uh, you know, that you had to overcome for you to uh, put this particular project up in this school barely a year ago, you know, and I know that um, most of the clubs or football clubs or academies out there, all they want is to get into competitive matches. Uh, I can say as a silver clarets, we may not have leveled much uh, challenges mm -hmm. since we uh, came into this idea. Mm -hmm. Challenges are there, yes, but at least you find that for our cases, I said what makes us to stand out, to be unique. Mm -hmm. we, as much as we focus on the results, mm -hmm. we focus on the formation of this boy, mm -hmm. formation of this girl mm -hmm. who has been entrusted to us. So most of the challenges that we face, we are able to maneuver mm -hmm. and get a solution mm -hmm. because we have an objective, mm -hmm. we have a laid down strategy mm -hmm. that helps us as a club. Mm -hmm. If it is about uh, maybe a small issue of discipline, mm -hmm. we are able to talk to the player. Mm -hmm. If it is about uh, academics, we are also help to, uh, able to help them balance. Mm -hmm. This is about training time. Mm -hmm. We are also able to ensure that when they come, mm -hmm. we create an environment where they have that passion for coming. Mm -hmm. It's like the parents are like, when is the next training? Mm -hmm. Because the boys and the girls are eager to come again for, mm -hmm. for training. Mm -hmm. So some of the challenges you can say is uh, the competition around. Mm -hmm. We have clubs, mm -hmm. but uh, we thank God because despite all those, mm -hmm. we have been able to stand out. Mm -hmm. Because having started a year ago, we are able to register a number of 60 plus. Mm -hmm. That gives us uh, the morale at least mm -hmm. to continue. Mm -hmm. And also we have a good number that mm -hmm. is sponsored in the club mm -hmm. where we are able to at least have something to do. We have given them an opportunity to showcase their talent. Mm -hmm. So despite the challenges, we can say that we learn out mm -hmm. of those challenges. Mm -hmm. We are better out of those challenges. Mm -hmm. And we believe mm -hmm. Silver Clarice will be better mm -hmm. and in a better place in the years to come, mm -hmm. building on the mm -hmm. challenges that we may have faced mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. yeah. and maybe the ambition of the team is it to get into the league? Um, from where we started, we had a, a target, mm -hmm. we had an objective. Uh, and we couldn't just enter the league before exposing the boys and girls to different leagues, tournaments yes. and friendly yes, matches. Yes. And that is what we have been doing. Mm -hmm. um, for us to reach there, we've started with uh, the league. We are registered uh, in the league we call the Racing Stars mm -hmm. Junior League Academy mm -hmm. that uh, takes place in games coverage. Mm -hmm. That happens from January all the way to December. Mm -hmm. That is helping us mm -hmm. to shape and at least to be able to see mm -hmm. what we can do mm -hmm. to expose the talents of these boys and girls. Mm -hmm. yes, so it's our dream mm -hmm. to be there. Mm -hmm. in the years to come. Mm -hmm. Yes, Yes, and uh, uh, Tony, for you, uh, coaching this particular team, wh what's your dream with the, with the players, especially this particular group that we can call them the pioneer, the first for this particular academy? Okay, what I'm, what I'm normally working on, always with them, I want uh, to produce some good players who are not just players, but players who can be outstanding. Somebody is all round. You see, we are very good players, even in the national uh, capacity, mm -hmm. who are very good with the ball. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to discipline issues, mm -hmm. we find that there are there is some there are something missing. So for me, I want a player who is outstanding, both discipline, both game, mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. and that's what I want. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and of course, and this is achievable. In, do you have a span? Do you have a, a okay. set period of time? Okay. What 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 we are doing right now? Mm -hmm. The club is barely, it's not that very old and we have, I can really say that we've really achieved mm -hmm. because those we started with, uh, wh whenever we go mm -hmm. uh, for the competition, mm -hmm. you will hear other teams uh, talking about, this team, they are very organized, mm -hmm. uh, they are very disciplined, mm -hmm. their children are, are very, well, very well brought up. Mm -hmm. So that's something that when I hear from other people, mm -hmm. I know there's something that we've put in them mm -hmm. that is outstanding. Mm -hmm. And yes. Yeah, so for me, I think we have achieved. Mm -hmm. You know, we cannot achieve uh, everything within a very short duration. Mm -hmm. But the small milestone that we make mm -hmm. can really uh, show that you are doing something. Mm -hmm. And a plan maybe for them to follow up on the talents that come through the academy? What, how, how does it, is it planned out? Okay, 
I think that one is you know, on the management side. Yes, you yes. Can but speak, what, yeah. I'm, what I normally do, mm -hmm. I train these children, mm -hmm. and I'm open for them. Mm -hmm. If somebody, uh, if somebody has very good skills mm -hmm. and has been identified mm -hmm. maybe by another, maybe another team or a better team than yes. what we have, uh -huh. then we are open for them. They uh -huh. can take and uh -huh. nurture this talent uh -huh. better than what I could have done. Uh -huh. yeah. Has that happened? Uh, so far, we cannot say we've achieved that, mm -hmm. but we're in the process. Mm -hmm. Because now, the time we've exposed them, mm -hmm. at least uh, we are able to see towards mm -hmm. the end of the league, mm -hmm. there is that uh, poaching mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. that we'll be able to see. Mm -hmm. It's our hope that towards the end of the league, mm -hmm. at least one or two of our players mm -hmm. will be recognized for their effort and their talents. Mm -hmm. And that will be open to allow them to mm -hmm. continue nurturing their talent mm -hmm. in a better club. Yes. We believe there is room for that. Yes, and of course it is big business because you're handling them from the young age. That means that the first money, the first move they'll ever make, the money will come back to you. Uh, as much as the money may come ba uh, back to us, uh, our <laughs> intention is to see them grow yes. in soccer, uh -huh. to uh -huh. see them grow in life. Uh -huh. That is mostly what we are intending. That's uh -huh. what is our objective, uh -huh. to see them grow. Even if the money comes, we'll help them at least to spearhead their talent mm -hmm. and to be better in mm -hmm. their life. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Bridget, um, <coughs> how, how do you want it to go? Where, where do you, how, how do you, uh, football, how should it like be for you? Uh, it should be like, you should enjoy, you should not like, make it like, it's a must. Like, you should just enjoy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And there is, um, there is a reward in enjoying it, right? And how do you learn that? How do you learn? How do you know that you must be free and enjoy? Yeah, because that is what we were taught by our coaches and teachers. Uh -huh. yes. Be easy? What, what, what do you, what, what uh, maybe a player that inspires you? Uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yes. The CR7? Yes. Or the other one? The oldest one? No. The, the CR7? Yes. Why? Even though he's not gifted, he's hardworking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had people, they are, they, they, are they agreeing with you? He's not gifted? <laughs> or to Manchester, right? Uh -huh. He's hard working. Yes. What, 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 um, what do you borrow from him? Um, the virtues he has learned. Uh -huh. yes. To work hard, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Elvis? Uh, also Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh -huh. Because he's, he's, he never gives up. Uh -huh. he, he, if a competition comes, mm -hmm. like he'll work very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he mm -hmm. never falls back. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so when you get there, because you play the same, is it the same? A winger just like him, right? Yes. Uh -huh. And maybe what makes you a better player? What would make you a better player as you grow, as you keep on playing? Discipline. If you mm -hmm. have discipline, mm -hmm. uh, listening to the coaches, yes, mm -hmm. you'll grow. Uh -huh. Bridget? For you, or oh, make you a better player, get to the levels that you, you've targeted. You should never give up. Mm -hmm. You work hard. Mm -hmm. yes. Does your parents support you? Who bought your first boots? Uh, dad. Your dad? Yes. Takes you to the field, right? Yes. Elvis? Also my dad. Uh -huh. yeah. you, everybody receives support here from the parents? Yes. Yes. And sometimes it's tough love, right? Yeah, never easy. What do they want to see? They want to see you score goals so that they buy you new boots if the other ones are like giving in. Yes. Okay. Um, Tony, maybe to, 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 the, to the kids now, I know that it involves you going to, to, to training and, and also understanding them. How hard is it for you to handle them? Now, for me, one thing I know, I've dealt with kids for uh, quite, a, some, quite some time mm -hmm. and I've learned something about children. Mm -hmm. Jin are very good people. They mm -hmm. are not like others. Mm -hmm. For the children, whatever they do, they do it out of heart. Mm -hmm. If there's something wrong, mm -hmm. a child will come to you and tell you there's this and this and this. Mm -hmm. So you know how to help this child. Mm -hmm. You know, these children are coming to you. You know, but with them, they don't know. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to show them the way. Mm -hmm. So dealing with them, mm -hmm. I make them my friends. Mm -hmm. We are free with them. Mm -hmm. So I normally find it uh, very nice dealing with the children than mm -hmm. adults. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, uh, Peter, upcoming uh, projects for the club, uh, what are some of the championships that maybe we know that there are a number of uh, uh, competitions that attract, you know, such formations, academies and stuff. Maybe uh, where you're going to gauge them as well, how, you know, such projects. Now, for the upcoming projects for the club, <coughs> being our first year, we wanted to start exposing them outside Nairobi. Mm -hmm. We have some leagues that happen in Diani mm -hmm. and also outside the country. We have a league that happens in Arusha. 
-hmm. That's the plants, the chipukizi. Uh -huh. Those are the plants that we have the coming year. And also the, the other thing that will make the silver clarets a unique, one of our projects mm -hmm. is giving back to the society. Mm -hmm. We not only focus on them, mm -hmm. but we have the, the vulnerable, the less fortunate the society. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the projects that we want to engage the club in. Mm -hmm. And also the community service mm -hmm. where we are able to serve others as a club. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that we are planning and it's our hope as Silver Clarets mm -hmm. will stand out as a unique club mm -hmm. in doing those and mm -hmm. achieving mm -hmm. all those uh, missions. Yes, and the dream of the team, just as we wind up the dream of <coughs> the team, maybe uh, what, what, what kind of model, which teams do you want to copy and get to those? I know Maisa was there, but Maisa did like the whole of Nairobi, but how about Silver Clarets? No. Um, one of the things that motivates me is um, seeing some of the, ch the players from my club mm -hmm. being pushed to other clubs within the country. Like I was, um, one of the person who motivates me is uh, Jacob Gostumle. Mm -hmm. He's a former coach mm -hmm. and uh, the, the owner, the founder of the Liberty Sports Academy. Yes. It's my dream. The club uh, can grow to that point mm -hmm. within the country and outside the country mm -hmm. in the years to come. Were you a player? Uh, for me, I may not some, uh, say I'm a player, but mm -hmm. out of the passion uh -huh. of dealing with children, uh -huh. seeing the need for the children to be engaged, mm -hmm. that has pushed me mm -hmm. to create more passion in mm -hmm. uh, soccer, mm -hmm. in uh, games, mm -hmm. and I think that has given mm -hmm. me more even uh, the, the, the push mm -hmm. to do better in mm -hmm. soccer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, for you to just start, yes. how, 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 how does that make you feel, for you to have the academy already running just one year? Uh, Having the idea with my core team, we are always a, three, a group of three. Mm -hmm. One thing that uh, made us uh, out of there, you can say, we can thank God. Actually, our, our group is our foundation, mm -hmm. it's a Christian foundation, mm -hmm. and everything that we do is mm -hmm. guided in the Christian mm -hmm. foundation. Mm -hmm. So we can say this far, we can thank God. Mm -hmm. It's our joy to see the club growing. Mm -hmm. It's our joy to see the players growing. Mm -hmm. And that is what makes us proud mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. When we touch a soul and a child somewhere, mm -hmm. can mention silver clarets and say, this is my club of choice. Mm -hmm. yes. the, uh, the values that you want them to, to always work with forever and ever, the young ones? One is about our responsibility. Mm -hmm. We not only train them to be footballers, mm -hmm. we want to see them growing. Mm -hmm. in school, at home, in the society. Number mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. we are in a country where, or in a society where most of the players are gifted, mm -hmm. but when you look at the character, the discipline is not there. Mm -hmm. So we want them to be inbuilt, something mm -hmm. that they can say, mm -hmm. out of silver clarets, mm -hmm. I became this, yes. because of the virtues, of uh -huh. the values that were uh -huh. instilled in me. Uh -huh. in me. Uh -huh. Something else we want to see is teamwork, uh -huh. and also the social life. Uh -huh. There are children who join us when they could not uh, socialize with others, mm -hmm. when they were glued on the TV, mm -hmm. but now they are the good orators in our club. Mm -hmm. They are the people who will, actually when we are going for the leagues and the matches, mm -hmm. they are the people who will give us stories about mm -hmm. soccer. Mm -hmm. So that gives mm -hmm. us joy as a club. Mm -hmm. That gives us joy as Silver Clarets Football Academy. Mm -hmm. yes. And for the coach Cotieno, the, your philosophy of coaching that maybe you could drab on these young ones one day if they grow up and take up the uh, coaching role as well? Okay. <clears throat> um, like he said, uh, he said he's not a football player. For me, I was a football player, uh -huh. but I never, got a, I never got a chance to play in these very big, big teams. Uh -huh. yeah. Big teams, so uh, to what level? Div 1? NSL? Uh, uh, okay. A goalkeeper? That is a very, uh, I'm, a, I'm a defensive midfielder. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. but uh -huh. The most expensive <laughs> player right now, in, in the market right now. Rodrigo. <laughs> yes, Rodrigo, yeah, the Declan sure. Rice. <laughs> Right, yeah, the sure. Caicedos, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what I what I normally say mm -hmm. uh, now that I never got an, I never got that chance mm -hmm. to be uh, somewhere where I wanted to be. Yes. Maybe I can put in somebody mm -hmm. whom now is under my care. Yes. To be better than me. Mm -hmm. Always my my all, what I, what I normally tell myself. Mm -hmm. I want to make people better than me. Mm -hmm. They have to go. Uh, to reach the levels that I never reached. Uh -huh. And that's what I'm trying to do. And just like a teacher, right? Yeah. Students should be always better than yeah. a teacher. Sure. Uh, okay, what do you teach? And uh, where? <laughs> <laughs> I teach mathematics. Uh, 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 which the school? Uh, Holy Innocent. Holy Innocent. That's your Catholic. Okay, great one. Yeah. And also a football coach for Silver Clarets. Thank yeah. you so much, right? Yeah. But Bridget, um, your, your, what drives you? What, what's the motto that drives you just as we go? Center of excellence. Center of excellence. Yes. So you want to be the most... Any, anybody else plays football in your family? My dad used to. Ah, used to play? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Uh, Elvis? My dad 
Mm -hmm. He used to yeah. play yeah. a club. Do you, do, does he tell you a lot about his football stories? Yes. And like he played for which team? Like he was just in these academies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but playing as a goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, and you decide to be a winger. Yes. But still playing football. So what drives you? What 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 keeps you going? Never give up. Never give up. Yeah. Nice one, Elvis. Uh, Elvis Minor and uh, Bridget Kenya. Of course they. The young ones who've been speaking on behalf of the young ones, but maybe just as before we go, can you say your name? Brandon. Brandon, Brandon who? Mutinda. Brandon? Mutinda. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, you, which position do you play, Brandon? <coughs> number seven. Number seven. Yeah. Uh huh. And for you? Number nine. Number nine, like Haaland or like who? <laughs> like me. Anyway, uh huh. Yes, your name? Stand up uh, again, yeah, 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 like sit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. What's your name? Angela. Angela. What position do you play? Striker. Striker. Number nine? Number ten. A forward, okay. Uh -huh. The next one? Vanessa. Vanessa. What position do you play? Number nine. Number nine. Yeah. What do you all, you're all strikers. Uh, Bridget, of course, said you, you're the captain, right? Yeah. Of course. Uh -huh. You? Fela Chepkuru. Chepkuru. What position do you play? Striking number seven. Number seven. Uh -huh. Leon. Leon. Unachiza position gani? Mid number 10. Uh -huh. For you? Mudoni. Sorry? Levin Mudoni. Uh -huh. Levin. Yes. What position do you play? Left wing number seven. Le number seven. Gian Kinudia. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What position do you play Kinudia? Eight midfielder. Number eight. Midfielder. Number eight. Uh -huh. The last one? Daniel Kamau. Daniel Kamau. Unachiza position gani? Number two left back. Left back. Uh, beautiful. I wish you all the best, right? I want to, after two years, I want to host um, Elvis and Bridget coming here to talk about how they are making their debut, right? At Man City and, you know, your career is kicking and just beginning and see you, yes. Peter, that will be your joy. That will be my greatest joy to a founder, a coach and a teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, you're also a teacher. I'm a teacher by profession. Uh -huh. Where do you teach? Where do you teach? Uh, Holy Innocence, that's your Catholic. Uh -huh. I'm a teacher of mathematics. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. Great. They are uh, all in more mathematics. They, they are all in great hands here, right? Yes. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for making your time. We hope to have you again. We are grateful as uh -huh. Eva Clarets Football uh -huh. Academy. Uh -huh. We are located in Nebakasi. Yes, Pena. and how can people join them? Yeah. You're, of course, on socials, right? We are on social media. You can find us on TikTok mm -hmm. as uh, Silver Clarets or the social media uh, platforms, Silver Clarets Football mm -hmm. Academy. Mm -hmm. Follow us. Like, share, we'll appreciate. For mm -hmm. those who want to join us, mm -hmm. you're around Feather, you're around Tembakasi, Simba Villa, Nyayo Estate, uh, Tasia, Pipeline Estate. We are located at Tasia Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Tasia Catholic Church is found uh, near Feather, mm -hmm. where we host this, uh, if there is a church at the school. Mm -hmm. We are always uh, based in that place. Mm -hmm. So we are open to all the children, to all the people from the community, and also who have talent and would wish to get a club, mm -hmm. a club that is mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. a holistic child. Yes, indeed. That, class is sil uh, that uh, club is Silver Clarets Football Academy. Yes, and there is under 13, under 11, under 9, and under 7 as and well. Under 15. We and also under have been 15. under 15, yes. yes. Yeah. So all the best, coach, to your coaching, as well as Peter in administering the club, and all the best to the young ones. May you become successful, fo uh, successful footballers in the country, help Kenyans, Maybe you're the generation that will take Kenya to the World Cup, right? Anyway, that's how we end it uh, with the uh, Silver Clarets uh, Football Academy, an academy that's best in Feather, that's in Embakasi. They've been our first guests on this particular session. Next up, I'll be hosting the men's lacrosse team. Then, of course, at the tail end of it, we'll be doing the usual fun zone. So stay with us on the touchline. Don't go too far. <laughs>